So to hide these points, as usual, we go to the boundary points, select those, and I'll select my surface. That way, I just had the boundary points and the surface selected. I can just go and isolate these objects. That will hide everything else. As you can see, all the other points inside the surface being hidden. And all what we still have on the drawings are the boundary points and the surface. Let's change our surface style to uh, contours instead. So I will go back to surface properties. First tab, information, and go back to 0 0.5 and 2 meters. Go OK. So this is our surface and the boundary points. One of the other useful tools for applying a good control, very accurate control on our boundaries is by creating a boundary line simply. To create the boundary line, if we go to create a boundary line, for example, that will give us the options to be outer or within the boundary line, which is outer. That means we'll hide everything outside that line, what we'll be drawing. So we have to draw an enclosed polyline and everything outside that polyline will be not part of that surface or we can create an inner boundaries within the uh, surface that will hide something inside it for height anyway what we will need for the outer uh, for the outer boundary for what we need now is the outer and we will create a destructive break line so we will untick the non-destructive to create a destructive uh, break line that means to cut any connection between these points for example that point here and that point to destroy that line between them and force the boundary to go to the next point within that uh, surface so to do that simply what we have to do to create a polyline let's go to the polyline command and we have to create a polyline that will cross that boundary in the areas that shouldn't draw a line there so we are forcing the uh, boundary of the surface to go from that point to that point it can't cross this destructive line what we're just drawing now so that means we have to draw another line here all the way to here we'll destroy that force it to go to that point and then we'll go to these points here and break that connection there all the way here we we'll continue so I'm, I'm not going to go through all the points just a few points to show you another method of doing it but so you understand the concept of it, I have to do it this way. So if I just close my polyline from here, as we agreed, this should be an outer, so it should be wrapping around the surface and should be enclosed. So the last thing you need to do, just don't go to snap to that point. Try to make sure that it's enclosed by pressing C for close for the polyline. Press enter, that will close your polyline. So if I choose that, to be my outer boundary and I'll call it just outer simply and I'll choose to be destructive I'll go OK if you look at these points here simply that boundary forced the surface to draw a boundary between all these points because it can't cross from that point all the way there anymore so this is the concept of the outer boundary as you can see here, it's forced the boundary to follow all these points. What I usually do, just to make it easier and quicker, in theory, if I created a polyline around all these points here and offset that polyline by a small distance, that will create a very accurate boundary for all the points. I'll show you how to do it just after I finish. Maybe you get better idea what what I'm trying to do so to do that simply I, I'll, I'll delete that polyline now and I'll hide the surface to hide the surface just easier to go to surface properties no display this is a very useful tool for the surface style 
selection because sometimes you don't need to hide a surface you can just change the properties of it to be not displayed it would be much easier if you need to work on something below the surface or within the surface so I'll press ok that will hide the surface or take it out from display so the plan is to draw a polyline between these points it will be useful to untick all the snap points other than the node keep the node on because you don't need your line to snap to the wrong points so I just keep the node for each one of those points is considered as a node so I'll just hide that and start connecting all these points if you click somewhere by mistake somewhere that you shouldn't select so I just simply type ctrl z why you keep your polyline command on and that will undo the last point you did as we said for the last point very important rather than trying to close to that point in case you may just click straight away outside that point just go close to it and type c enter that will close your polyline that will make sure 100 percent that your polyline is enclosed if it wasn't enclosed your boundary will not work so it's very important to close your polyline so we drawn a polyline between all the boundary points now we don't want that polyline to be exactly on the points we want just to be outside these points to create a 100 percent accurate boundaries not to be maybe by mistake we clicked just slightly inside that point and that will exclude that point from the surface so what we can do just offset that line by a small distance to the outside so offset will ask for the distance I just chose offset command from here the offset is asking for what distance or we'll just draw a small distance here and that will measure as the distance for offset and we say this is the line you want to create enter and that's the line we need to draw so the inner line now we can delete that line as you can see this is the point where the polyline being closed which is 100% closed that's what we want it now we'll go back to our surface let's show the surface uh, surface property and show the 0.5 and 2 meters took us like five minutes for the entire surface which is worth it sometimes it's quicker to spend some time on doing things uh, accurately rather than having problems down the track and spending longer time to fix these problems this is from experience guys with working with AutoCAD and Civil 3D uh, River all these softwares if you build your design on something not very accurate if you made some shortcuts in other words during your design that will catch you during the design and you may have to spend another day just to fix that problem so it's better to do it probably from the start so we created an accurate boundary now for our uh, surface we can apply that boundary we we'll say add outer boundary let's first delete the existing one and add in the outer boundary and we will make sure that we have the non-destructive unticked that means we need it to be destructive break line we'll go ok we'll ask for selecting that boundary we will select the polyline that we've drawn and as you see your boundary for the surface now is 100% accurate where you want so I press escape just to exit that now what we need to do with this uh, polyline we just created simply the easier way just creating a new layer keep that on your drawings you will need it in a way or another we can create a new layer from here and we'll call that layer no display we'll turn off the display for that layer and we don't want it to be printed out that's it all good so we can exit that and we can put that new polyline on the node display I'll type n that will take me to the node display and it's gone okay so it's still there in your drawings it's still active as a boundary for your drawings but you can't see it and you can't print it out which is exactly what we want